hit by Friday's storm, getting some recovery from the food bank of the RGB, where they will be there, where they will be at today. And the storm causing outages, leaving some schools to close for today. We'll tell you which schools will be closed. NBC 23 starts now. From South oh Padre my. Island to Rio Grande City, this is NBC 23 News Today. Good Monday morning, Valley. Thank you so much for joining us here on NBC 23 Today. I'm Daisy Martinez. Good morning, and I'm Reina Rodriguez. Also joining us are meteorologist Chris Ramirez and lifestyle host Daniel Banda. Good morning to you. Happy Monday, and oh my goodness, you know, um, yeah. the you start of a new weekday, yeah. but coming out of a weekend. Uh, we saw those images just right there hard. at the top of the show, and you know, this is why we always kind of talk about weather aware. Yeah. Um, you know, we were all listening to our meteorologists, and obviously these kind of weather mm -hmm. events take us somewhat by surprise, not because we didn't know they were coming, but by the magnitude and the damage right. that they did, as yeah. we just saw there. Mother Nature did its thing. Yes, we definitely. Saw. Those winds were strong. Mm -hmm. Woke mm -hmm. me up. Me too. <laughs> yeah, I was awake until three o'clock in the morning on Friday. I was telling Danielle, yeah. my dog was uh, wouldn't go to sleep Restless. because of she's a puppy and the storms and the lightning and the wind. Mm -hmm. so my building was shaking. Wow. Out in Harlingen, even though we didn't get as much damage as they did out in far yeah Mc San Juan, mission, mission. McAllen, yeah. McAllen definitely seeing that damage there that was a sight yeah a very different picture today though yeah. yes mostly calm today not dealing with any significant rain chances in the forecast at least for the next few days but here's a live look from the DA 